Ukrainian forces hit 15 Russian air defense systems in Crimea over two months. The armed forces of Ukraine have targeted 15 Russian air defense systems in temporarily occupied Crimea over the past two months, according to the Strategic Communications Department of the Armed Forces of Ukraine. Over this time, Ukrainian forces have specifically hit S-300, S-350 and S-400 air defense systems. Additionally, dozens of launches of the mentioned systems have been destroyed along with over 15 radar stations and 10 command posts. For instance, on the 10th of June, the general staff reported that the Ukrainian military successfully targeted one S-400 400 anti-aircraft missile battery of the occupiers in the Zankoy area in northern Crimea and two enemies S-300 anti-aircraft missile batteries near Chonomorsk and Yevpatoria in western Crimea. Kostyantin Nemichev, founder of the Ukrainian Main Military Intelligence Directorate Kraken Regiment, confirmed that Ukrainian forces used HIMARS to destroy four Russian S-300 systems in Belgorod Oblast on an unspecified date. Ukrainian outlet Suspiln cited Nemichev's statements as the first official Ukrainian confirmation of strikes against a Russian S-300 battery in Belgorod Oblast on June the 1st or 2nd. The destruction of Russian air defense systems in Belgorod Oblast by Ukrainian forces reportedly led Russian command to redeploy air defense assets from Crimea to Belgorod Oblast in early June 2024, consequently weakening the air defense coverage around Crimea. Zankoy, located at least 145 kilometers from the front line, is a transport hub and home to a Russian helicopter base. Chornomorsk and Yevpatoria are 115 and 175 kilometers from the war zone, respectively. In April, Ukraine had also targeted Zankoy air defenses, destroying up to five S-300 stroke S-400 launchers and a radar. According to the Institute for the Study of War, the Ukrainian military attempted to weaken Russian air defense systems before the arrival of F-16 aircraft with these strikes. Meanwhile, Ukraine's top military commander, Alexander Sirsky, said Russia's strategy to intensify offensives and expand combat operations aimed at exhausting Ukrainian forces before the arrival of F-16 fighter jets. On the 10th of May, Russia launched a new offensive in Kharkiv Oblast. Sirsky added that Russian forces understand that Ukraine's air defenses will be significantly strengthened with the Western aircraft, reducing Russia's chances of victory in the war. Prolonged rains in eastern China's Fujian province caused flooding in Chuanzhou, a city of nearly 9 million people, and two other major cities, as well as 11 rural counties. According to information reported by China Central Television citing local authorities, 11 rivers overflowed. Torrential rains have forced the evacuation of 36,000 people in East China's Fujian province, the Provincial Flood Control Office said. Days of heavy rains have wreaked havoc in many parts of Fujian, which has declared an emergency response to rainstorms, Xinhua News Agency reported. The water level in flood zones reaches 3.65 meters. According to published data, 179,800 people were affected by the floods, and about 36,000 people were evacuated. Military personnel were involved in the process. The railway connection in Fujian province has been partially suspended. Huang Jigang, an expert with the Fujian Meteorological Service, urged people to be vigilant due to the risk of flooding in small and medium-sized rivers and the potential for waterlogging in both urban and rural areas. It should be noted that since June 9, it has been raining in Fujian accompanied by a storm and strong wind. The province has also been declared a disaster alert. Experts have attributed the recent complex and contradictory weather conditions to the joint effect of El Nino and La Nina coupled with global warming. In response, authorities have deployed various measures to combat high temperatures and control flooding to stabilize production and ensure the people's livelihood in affected areas. Influenced by both cold and warm air currents, multiple places in southern China have recently been experiencing continuous heavy rainfall. The National Flood Control and Drought Relief Authority initiated a Level 4 emergency flood response for South China's Guangxi Zhuang Autonomous Region and East China's Fujian Province, dispatching work teams to the regions to offer assistance and provide guidance.